Hi everyone, welcome back to Slimming World Rocks and this is the second attempt to film the chicken chow mein and hopefully I won't mess up this time. So with all I've done so far is cook some chicken legs. So right now um, I'm just going to show you the ingredients we're putting in. I've got some spring onions, I have a Spanish onion that is chopped, you can just use any normal onion doesn't have to be a Spanish onion we have some uh, egg noodles that are they're ready to cook and some bean shoots or bean sprouts whatever you want to call them and there's an optional extra we're not putting it in today but you can put veg like these trimmed mange too or um, anything really I, I sometimes you know just put anything that I've got left over carrots peppers anything in there and um, Gary is trying to distract me, guys. He's trying to distract me. So, what? You've got to use medium, I'm, medium egg noodles. Okay, medium egg noodles. Um, because they all come in different thicknesses. So, obviously, we've got seasoning there. And we've got some light soy sauce, some dark soy sauce, and some oyster sauce. So, that's all going in. So, I'm going to pause the video now. And, um, well, in a second. And trim up this chicken probably um, not going to use all of it yesterday I tried to film it and I messed up but we used four and that was sufficient so we possibly use four again I'll let you know once it all gets uh, broken up to see if, how much we've used so if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when there's new videos and you really do need to watch out for the duck in hoisin sauce uh, video because that is unbelievable really yummy so all of the ingredients method etc will be in the description box below so if you lose track of what we're doing then it will be in there and also just need to remind you to please excuse the decor because we're renovating and um, it's a slow process so some of the you know walls and surfaces are pretty old and will be renewed with time so thanks so much hold on while I just prepare the chicken and I'll come back to you okay I forgot to mention that we're going to be using fry light so um, Gary's just going to coat the pan so that we can um, sweat off the onions what? Action. <laughs> so now we're just going to cook these down and sweat them off until they're kind of yellowy brown not no we don't want to caramelize them or anything just uh just cook them through a little bit that will take a little while so i'm going to pause the video while the magic takes place and they get i'll come back to you when they're done though in the meantime i did um skin the chicken because we're not allowed the skin and broke it up into pieces uh, so that's the way waiting nicely for uh, cooking and the, the onions are now starting to sizzle so I'm just going to pause this and come back to you when they're cooked. Gary's just going to prepare the spring onions by top and tailing them and skinning those and um, then he'll chop them so I'll come back to you once he's ready to do that and um, you'll see them how he prepares them. So Gary's just going to slice them kind of on the diagonal so they are nice and long but um, it's not whole lengthways. So it's hard to show you what he's doing without dipping myself in the onions. But you just continue to slice them up on the diagonal. So that's what they look like once they've been, sorry, I keep touching the mic. That's what it looks like once they've been sweated down. And um, so they're not crunchy anymore. They're just softening slightly, really. And now we're going to start with the wok. So Gary is going to coat it in the fry light with lots and lots of coating of the fry light because normally speaking, if we weren't doing Slimming World or, you know, trying to lose weight, we would pop in a little bit of olive oil which you know on Slimming World you can still have but it would just add to the sin value so um, yesterday we tried making it with the fry light and it was fine so we're just going to add the onions in as you can see and 
and now we do the sauces. So we've got this one is what, Gary? Six. Six what? Six tablespoons of light soy. Six tablespoons of light soy sauce. And as you can see, he never fills up his spoon when he does a tablespoon. So they're not quite full. And this one? Three, three tablespoons of soy, oyster sauce. Three tablespoons of oyster, but they're not full up, as you can see. This one's just about to run out. But we do have another one, so that's fine. It's getting rather warm in here. Just going to like make sure that's all in. And make sure it's all covered. It smells amazing already. So now we're just going to put in the prepared chicken. You can use breast if you want, any chicken, but we like legs and thighs, so prefer the dark meat. And that's all prepared and chopped up. It's looking good and smelling good. Season it. Not with too much salt though, obviously, because soy sauce does contain a fair amount of salt. Now Gary is going to put in some bean shoots. And I think you're using half a bag, aren't you? This is a handful. A handful, but Gary has got big hands. <laughs> it's got very big hands. So it's about, uh, about 175 grams is half that pack. But yeah, that you can put in more or less. It really doesn't matter just lamp it in so to speak we're doing it for two or three minutes yep okay so we're just going to let that cook for two or three minutes so uh just stir in make sure it doesn't stick because the fry light you know obviously does burn off quite quick you can always put more in if you need it so i'm just going to pause it for a second and i'll come back to you once we're ready for the next stage okay so now gary's going to add the noodles as it's been cooking for a little while now sometimes we make a great big one this is a medium sized one um they're ready to cook egg noodles and they're medium sized but sometimes we make a larger pan and um in when we do sometimes because he has lovely clean hands where he's washed them He'll turn it over with his hands, but, um, oh, look, an escapee, not for long. So, uh, but this is quite easy to turn over with a spatula this size. But if we're making a bigger one, he, do, he will get his hands in. He's got Teflon hands, never burns them. But that is just amazing. So once he's incorporated that, he's going to add some dark soy sauce. And so normally he'll ha he'll add about three to four tablespoons, but it really does depend on your personal preference and it what it looks like. And so just lamp it in. So that was about that one finished. So while I wasn't filming, we put in a little tiny bit more of the oyster sauce because we had a new one. So we got that out and made that up to the, the tablespoon that was um, light. Don't forget all of the ingredients quantities will be in the description box. But you don't have to be exact. As you can see, Gary isn't exact when he puts in a tablespoon he doesn't fill it up to the top and they'll just judge it but they're roughly so now it starts to tank on a darker color it's actually showing a bit lighter on the camera than it really is it's nice and nice and dark sorry wandering off then when I was just looking with the naked eye 
So I'll put in a bit more pepper to taste. And normally we do this with tongs. Gary does like his little banging, but we normally do this with tongs, but he's just going to use this um, serving spoons to give it a good turnover in the pan. But it's looking and smelling pretty amazing. So now he's going to taste it. Mmm. Is that good? Hmm? Bad. Not bad, bad, he says. Okay, my turn. So let's get a little bit on here. It's hard to get a little bit. It's just doesn't want to come away. So I'm not going to put chicken on it this time. Oh, actually, I think there is a little bit. Mmm. My goodness. That's really scrumptious. So now in goes those chopped spring onions. Mmm. Sorry about the crunching, but it's been shoots. That's amazing. Obviously, you don't have to put as much of the sauces in if you prefer not to, but it's just gorgeousness. So that's basically it. All you have to do now is move it out of camera shot, Gary, and enjoy it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy that, and um, I'll see you again soon for the next one or for my blog chat. Bye for now, everyone.